Uh, next, uh, news on the Humanist Project. We talked about this last week, a collaboration mm. album orchestrated by a guy called Rob Marshall, a guitarist and a producer. Uh, he's worked and written a lot with Mark Lanigan, and he's enlisted Mark, and a whole bunch of other vocalists and contributors for this record called Humanist, uh, including Mark Gardner from Ride, Carl Hancock's Rux, who's worked with Portishead, David Holmes, John Robb from Membranes, Joel Cadbury from Uncle and South, Hills and Maria, Ron Sexsmith, Jim Jones, and Dave Garn, mm -hmm. he of Depeche Mode. Mm. And the first thing we heard from the record, and we played a clip of this last week, is the new single Shock Collar featuring Dave. And I spoke to him earlier this week uh, from, so bear in mind, Dave Garn, uh, a colossal rock star, yeah. uh, lives in New York, I believe. Sure. Where was he, where was he? Tra travels the world, obviously, doing incredible creative projects, travels the world with Depeche Mode yeah. over the place, uh, plays to colossal arena and stadia everywhere. Where was I speaking to him from? What means Ryan Ed? Pretty close, uh, near his mum's house in the Isle of Wight. Oh. Uh, and I spoke about the Humanist Project, about Shot Con, about Mark Lanigan, and a bit of politics about his own uh, band project, Soul Savers, and what's going on with Depeche Mode right now. Anyway, it's part one. <laughs> With humanists, I mean, you must get asked to do stuff all the time, all the time, come and do vocals on this, come and do this thing. Why, why did you say yes in this particular instance? Hmm, that's interesting. Um, yeah, well, I, I am fortunate enough to, I, I do get quite asked quite often um, to, to participate in various different things, um, lately a lot of different things that have been quite interesting that I've actually had to turn down um, because I'm just, so I, mean, I get to pick and choose a bit more. And um, I think the last year I was lucky enough to do something with Alison from Goldfrapp and that was that was great. Um, I really enjoyed doing that. And um, over the years, I guess it started with me when I first started doing stuff with Soul Savers. And that kind of opened the door to me to a lot of other different artists that I really respect. One being Mark Lanigan, who I love dearly and has always been totally kind of taken in by his songs, lyricist and, and songwriter, and, his, and most of all, his voice. Um, the bloke knows how to tell a story, that's for sure, with his voice. I'm a sucker for that. I put him in that same category, you know, it's like Nick Cave or Johnny Cash or a certain voices that you, you listen to. PJ Harvey, you know, um, probably she, she pulls it off for me as well in that way. I just um, I'm taken in by the voice and go to South Carolina. I don't know, visual price. Anyway, Mark crossed paths quite a few times and he needed a kind of favour for me, really, to um, uh, participate in a song. Um, he was putting his own record out and he was involved in the Humanist project and for some reason he was unable to uh, do the same thing at the same time. Anyway, he gave me a call and, and, he, and, and we talked about the idea and I was glad to be asked to do it and get involved. You know, it turned out to be what I think is a is a pretty powerful little song. gives the impression of being an absolutely terrifying bloke. I mean, because yeah, he has the voice, he's got that, he's got that presence. He's, I mean, I guess he's not quite as intimidating in real life. You know, I, I, I understand that, and I <laughs> well, I, I just think, you know, he, he is, I, I really I love him, and, um, you know, I identify with a lot of aspects of, of who he is. <laughs> Even as a title, Shock Collar, it's a good name for a song. It's, I love it. Straight away, we're in a very evocative place, aren't we? Well, why put a shock collar on quite a few people right now, but um, <laughs> I guess it was method, a method that was used. Yeah, and it just, it just throws out so many different kinds of images. But I just think a song is like one of those great, it turned out to be one of those great sort of driving songs. And for me, well, a lot of the, the way he plays and creates 
these sort of shapes with his guitar playing and uh, his musicianship. He, he reminded me actually of something like that might have been on a, a, a Bunnyman album, something from Porcupine or, I don't know, um, back then. I'm dating myself right now, of course, but Paul Pop, that Ian McCulloch and the boys. I don't know if there's a certain feel to it like that, or even a sort of, a, you know, a, a, a banshee feel too, like John McGeoch, you know, another great guitar player I love, uh, whose style of playing. But I was just, you know, honestly, to be honest, that's just a bit short. Sure. I, I was just happy to be asked to do it. Yeah, go on.